Welcome back to This Week in Connecticut. We hear so much about Hartford and West Hartford, but East Hartford is often left out. The relatively new mayor there is working hard to change that and is reminding people of one of Connecticut's most popular politicians from the late 20th century. So I call myself the reluctant mayor. Meet East Hartford Mayor Mike Walsh, but don't use his last name. First of all, Mayor Walsh, thanks for being with us here today. Please, Mayor Mike. Mayor Mike. Mayor Mike is a former Cigna executive and son of a former Pratt & Whitney worker. He became mayor of this suburb of 50,000 people just last fall and loves the job. You're pretty passionate about it, though. Uh, let me tell you. I you love this job? Um, so so uh, it's it's soul crushing and, and, and here's so, so uh, I can't please everybody uh, about 90% you'd think I'd be happy that 90% of the people like the direction we're going I focus on the 10 that don't uh, matter of fact I'm having a gentleman here tomorrow you know he's out on social media deriding the community he lives in I'll have him in tomorrow and I'm going what is your point you make my job harder when you don't believe East Hartford you know again I'm a guy who believes East Hartford's glass is half full this gentleman believes it's half empty so I'm out there trying to change those minds Mayor Mike is bullish on East Hartford he walked me through a digital presentation called the control tower that shows off all of the projects in the pipeline for this town a marina stores, restaurants, apartments, and more activities. But best of all, a new attitude. But here's the first place that I want to distinguish East Hartford from the East Hartfords of the past. Up in the corner, we're focusing on customer service, we're focusing on communication, and we're focusing on collaborate, collaboration. Simply put, if we fail to deliver exceptional resident service, there is no reason for Town Hall to be here. So my hallmark is a higher level of transparency and customer service. The mayor's office is full of sketches and notes and a long to-do list and he gets pretty deep in the minutia. I'm exhausted nine months into it. <laughs> East Hartford certainly has its problems from crime to a lack of economic development. It certainly has been a beleaguered town over the years and, and it needs a cheerleader. Do you yep. see yourself, do you compare yourself at all to the other Mayor Mike, Mayor Mike Peters 30 years ago so, who was very enthusiastic? So help you God. I do. Mayor Mike Peters was the outspoken cheerleading icon at Hartford City Hall from 1993 to 2001, who led the city during the massive Adrian's Landing development. So I'm old enough at 58 to know Mike Peters. Um, I thought his way of government was effective. It was friendly, it was approachable, it was outreachable, and I am honestly modeling, uh, I, I prefer to be called Mayor Mike, I don't wear a tie, I am channeling the inner Mike Peters. <laughs> It looked unlike any vehicle the world had ever seen before. Next, we flash back to when the car of the future was built right here in Connecticut and why its future was never realized. Plus, we invite you to connect with us here at This Week. Send us an email at thisweek at WTNH.com. You can also find me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. This Week in Connecticut will be right back.